happy hairdress. It's late because it's still taking people around the stadium. Um, I think the turnout today has been absolutely fantastic and all the effort that everybody's put in is appreciated. And I thought it might be useful just to go through what a closed season means. And because in the, my previous life, closed meant shut. And I think it does for most people, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. The board decided that um, wouldn't it be good if I could take over as MD just before the end of the season? I thought, that's great, I can now go on holiday. <laughs> um, and of course, Jez gave me a to-do list, eight pages long, <laughs> including what I paint around all the advertising slogans around the ground that were on top of other ones that you could see part of them, because he likes everything exact. So the Jez to-do list, Ian, he had a to-do list. He wanted me to build a new stadium in 10 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> then Claudine, commercial. Well, what does she want to do? Well, the tea bars aren't very good, Dave, are they? You know, can we improve the food? What do you think so far? Yeah. Food's pretty good. Yeah. Shop's not very good, Dave. Can I have a new shop? <laughs> can we have something to sell in the shop? Because that's a novelty, isn't it, at this club for the last few years? Is the shop open? No. Is it, is it going to be open? No. Do you want us to buy? No. I think today we've done over £7,000 worth of sales in the shop. Which is a Claire gave me a list. Eight pages long. Season tickets, you name it. Car parks, I haven't done that yet. Anybody wants a car park space, you will get them. And then finally, Jules, who's the finance, said, I want money. <laughs> so we tried to do that as well. So the closed season is a misnomer. So and we thought it was a great to open the door so you can see what we've done in the closed season. And hopefully you'll see quite a change. So what about the team? You know, you always need a big team. So we have the people in the office, plus Mick, Andy, Evans, who does the bar and tea bars. Colin Proctor, who is the little diamond here, and volunteers. <coughs> volunteers have painted every barrier in this ground, everything that needs painting has been painted, and I think they need to be recognised. They've been here day after day, and I think they've done a fantastic job. It's a stadium. and the goodwill of local businesses. And I'll mention a few in a minute, but without them, we wouldn't have it, because the question I asked was, how much money do we normally spend? And they said, it's usually five figures, and that includes a zero, zero for pence. <laughs> so, up to a thousand pounds. Well, we spent a little bit more, but we think it's worth it, but we couldn't have done it without the help of the local businesses. So if we look at who's uh, been, oh well, what has been achieved? Let's have a look. First one, new shop ticket office. For the first time, we've got a ticket office that people can be proud of. You go in there, you can actually buy a ticket and you can wander around the shop and when you do, you buy all the stuff, which helps the club because it generates money. We've got anything that could be painted has been. I stood still for five minutes. <laughs> and that was yeah. that. The pitch, what about the pitch? Another Ian Dow, the masterpiece, done on a shoestring. Absolutely fantastic. Then the Dublin Suite, the Andy has painted all the back of the bar, everything has been painted, and then, unfortunately, the gods were against us, because 10 days ago, the rain came in, and everywhere got flooded, and that's why the carpets aren't down, but they'll be down for the Ipswich match. Tea bars, very good food. We've got some other nice names coming, the Wild Cafe, and we want to recognise the players. <laughs> I saw someone shake their head there, but uh, Dunkin' Donuts, no. Anyway, <laughs> Jess is only going to sign players that we can actually make name tea bars after. <laughs> he hasn't quite managed that with Wilmot. <laughs> a home changer room, wasn't that smart? Those that have been on the tour, looks professional, doesn't it? Very good. Even got towels that match. Instead of the players and to ask their mum, what spare towels have you got? We've now got all black ones. So it looks but, but you can't see the dirt. 
<laughs> and for years, the, the female officials that used to come here used to change in the bike ship. <laughs> now, I know I used to go behind the bike ship for a cigarette. <laughs> But to actually, you know, so now we've got a lovely facility for them. So if you go on holiday and you get the shampoos and that in the bathrooms, bring them here. Because that might, we can put them in there and reuse them. So additional officials changing room. As I say, the whole place is spick and span. And I'm proud of everybody that's put the effort in. So how's, oh, on the south stand behind there, that's all being cleaned out. But all these spaces are available for hire at very reasonable prices. The bar with an entertainment license, we can provide discos and any other things that you might need. Uh, so if you think it ever do, come here, plenty of parking, out of town. Shall I carry on with the commercial or shall I move on to the next bit? Right. So, how have we achieved it? Well, what else have we done? We've reduced costs and we've got really good fans that uh, support us. So if we press the button again, Energy, uh, Robert McKenzie of Utility Wise phoned me up and said, you're paying too much for your electricity and gas. And do you know what? He was right. We've saved tens of thousands. And that guy has really helped us over the next year start to reduce costs. <laughs> Photocopying, we've saved about £7,000 a year. Mobile phone, Stefan from Rydal, who's another, used to be in the youth group, youth setup, has saved us £2,000 a year on mobile phone calls. <laughs> So all of these things are helping reduce the cost base, which gives Jess more money to keep bringing in more and more and more players. <laughs> <laughs> so and we've also generated more income through the shop, and what else did I put on that side? <clears throat> Significant sponsorship deals. Isn't it great this year to have everyone active on our shirts? Yeah. This is what this club's all about, it's getting people involved in the community. They've got swimming pools, fitness centres, and we're going to work with them and generate interest in their activities and our activities. I had to run from that end of the stand to this one to pick up a battery. I couldn't run back, so I decided I'm everyone half active. <laughs> so, and I'm going to, by the end of the season, I shall be everyone active. Isn't that the objective? And the players want me to give up cigarettes. Good Lord, am I in my <laughs> Cambridge News on the back of the shirt before we signed a deal. That's a brilliant one, isn't it? But they are close to signing a deal. <laughs> and CFU and all the other ones, and of course, with the sponsors, Kershaw's are still with us and the stadium sponsors. So we've got good deals going forward, which are about what this club is all about. Who has done the work? Colin Taylor and JC Holmes, they've been fantastic. They've done the change of rooms, they've done, helped us in the shop. He's been here more times than I've had hobbies. Same Gordry, I don't know if I spoke that night. The electrician has been here, given a lot of their time for free, that's why it's safe. Andy Evans and Jason Prepwell of Petwell Foods, 50 phone calls a day they've been giving each other to make sure we've got decent food. Now, what about the bacon rolls? What about all of that? Really superb food going forward. Ron Twin the floor store, he has been fantastic because we desperately needed carpet in here and so he has done that and fitted out the shop and it's wonderful to have him back involved in the club. Clever with Paul Mumby of Sign Up because he won one of the draws for the sponsorship on the main stand. So he's been doing all the signs. Now that wasn't a fiddle and uh, but it's brilliant that all the work is done. The volunteers, there's one chap, I can't remember his name, who has gone round and edged all the grass around the pitch. And because it's rained so much, he's had to do it five times. He's now got a bent back and a, a whole bag full of uh, cuttings. In the office, Carol, Alan, Josie, Carol, Val. It's all women, isn't it? That's why it's been difficult for me. I've never worked with so many women. Um, but I'm getting used to it. But they're there. They don't get paid. They're volunteers. They're fantastic. This club is so lucky to have such good supporters. Then Claudine, Claire Jules and Andy and Ian. And then the CFU. They've done a hell of a lot of work with us with the centenary match. Setting up the lottery, John Bilbao here. They've been painting the offices and just working the socks. But I must make one special mention for Colin Proctor, the midget gem of Cambridge United Football Club. He has been here 
since 1942. Right? And that's, you know, he's in here 8 o'clock, he can mess up the electrics by half past. Yeah, he almost made the quarter cabins collapse. Yeah, and his, yeah, so I call him our midget gem of Cambridge United. Right. Now, I've always been told here, you can't get kit before the season starts because you might make money and it might help the club. So what we try and do in the past is get all the replica kit in about November when you've forgotten that we're playing for anyway. So I was sent 6,000 miles to pick up the kit. Time to relax, I thought. So I loaded up the lorry. But... <laughs> Unfortunately, the road was closed, so I tried to divert round. I had to get all the locals to help me offload it and then pack it when I got over the river. But we got there, we got it back, and Dave McKenzie of Birda and the Birda group have been fantastic with all the kit that have been provided. He has been printing kit now for 84 hours continuously. All we have to do is feed him a bacon burger from the new tea bus, which are available all around. <laughs> and he is still there printing. Now, I will tell him that the open day is shut when we finish this, but I didn't want him to stop too early because, you know, he might not come back tomorrow. <laughs> so I took time off to relax. 6,000 miles. I thought I must have escaped this lot. So, who did I see? <laughs> a, a silver back gorilla. And I was four foot from him, and he produced a list. <laughs> The silver back himself, our manager, Jez George. <laughs> he was there saying, Dave, you know there's advertising audience that needs, you know, need doing. Can you do it? He was there with another list. So I tried to disappear again. And who else was there? Right. Who else do you think was there? Right. Let's have a look. Guess what? The midget gem. <laughs> Colin was there up in a tree. <laughs> he was destroying the jungle. Thank goodness. <laughs> Anybody else was there? Oh yeah, Ian Darla. He can source things from anywhere. We needed a few planks. And he was out there bringing some planks back. So he's got all these contacts that come and do work for us. All part of this club. All part of this lovely club that we support. I was 3,000. How the hell did I move from three to six? I must have been getting <laughs> tough. And who else? Well, our new sponsors. Those who can't read it, it's the Carjun Driving School. Hasn't got brakes on the car, you know, so I thought it would stop all the criticism of our sponsors if we've got someone like this on the front of shirt. So they've agreed to be on the front of our shirts. Is that okay? <laughs> who else? And here we are, it is the players with Jess and Nolan. <laughs> so many of them. <laughs> they don't know which way to go, do they? <laughs> but look, perfect, isn't it? That white and black streak, Jess with his little pink legs, and Nolan. <laughs> right, anyway, that's the serious stuff, let's move on. Right. Now, how can we overachieve at this club? Well, we're already overachieving. From the boardroom to the terraces, let's work together. We've shown that today. Let's look forward, be positive, optimistic, with a weak-hand attitude. We need energizers. This closed season has showed me what energy this club has got from everybody involved in it, and I'm proud to bits. There's always been a few who come on the message boards. They love to criticize, moan, complain, enjoy looking backwards. Where are we going? Forwards! Oh. Right. So, next one please. We have a board of genuine fans. Is that right? Welcome not only Eddie Clark who's joined us and Julie's now the manager of the shop. We've also got Robert Smith who's the finance manager and is a great help to me because he says I can't spend and I do. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here and it's with Colin, Mighty Jim, that's him finished for life, isn't it? We're all working together and with Jess. The board of genuine fans. Committed staff. 
You cannot fault the people in this organization. They are here hour after hour after hour. Makes me feel, you know, I only do eight till two, and then I'm off. Right. Affordable playing budget. You know, Jez is a magician. He gets all these players here, and they want to be here, and we're within budget. Now, how many times have we said that as a club? We're playing affordable and a sustainable, with a sustainable budget. An unbelievable fan base. Interesting today, only a hundred people have picked up their season tickets which probably means that a lot of the people here who have come today are not season ticket holders. So that's great. And then they can spend in the shop. Or they could hire this room at a very reasonable rate with this. <laughs> right. A self-financing youth system that is the envy of the football league clubs. Mark and Bonners and all of them, they're fantastic. Their enthusiasm is second to none. And we have... Oh, that's nice. Potential to move into a new stadium, and before you all go, if you haven't filled in this Cambridge Local Plan questionnaire, please do so. Also, with the lottery, if you haven't joined the lottery, please do so. Take the cards away, they're all at the front end here. Where are we off to now? Going forward together, we also have a scouting system that identifies players on the way up. Look at who we've signed this year. A club philosophy that players want to buy into. The players here today have loved it, you know, and it's, do they want to be here on a Sunday? No. Do I want to be here on a Sunday? No. They've come here and they've recognised what we're doing and they want to be part of it. Aren't we proud to be part of that? A manager that is crap, but that's all we can afford. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A support team, I'm not going to say anything else, don't expect compliments. <laughs> Four teams, second to none. A strong squad of players, well they lifted me up, uh, determined to succeed. So there we are. Now, quick reminder, next match is at the Abbey Stadium, Wednesday, July the 25th, in Switchtown in a friendly centenary match. We have only over 45 legends coming, starting from people in the 1940s, Russell Crane, who is going to kick off the match and then be substituted very quickly. <laughs> um, with a bit of luck, Jez might have to go in goal. So, so Dion's team are going to win quite uh, easily. So that's on the 30th. 4th of August, Wickham Wanderers. Be a good test for us. I think it's Lincoln. I'm just getting to, is that right? In Lincoln City on the 14th of August. All you've got to do is all bring your friends, because if we all brought one, we all must have one friend. I haven't, but someone must have. Come on in. The shop and ticket office is open Monday to Fridays and match days. And therefore, we will finish with the last slide, which says, going forward together, in our centenary year, a hundred years ago, people set up this club, and we're still here, and we owe them to take it forward. So, unfortunately, I have to finish it off with United in Endeavour! <laughs> team are here, they might all be questioned out. I, I can sing or I can close up. <laughs> Give us a song, man. Anybody want to say anything or we're all okay? I think you did very well. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming, thanks for all your efforts. Come on, look forward to that on Wednesday. See you all, buy your shirts, hire this room, get going and we'll be a great team. Thanks ever so much for having